I spoke to the superintendent today, and he says there's a lot of history behind these mascot changes, although there are a lot of complaints about the changes erasing history. Minuteman symbol is a, is a gentleman standing with a rifle. We don't want guns on our campuses or images of guns. But a recent community survey asking people to vote on a new mascot has triggered a lot of discussion in the community. Some are contemplating their choices. One of them would be a uh, Congo kangaroos, uh, Congo chameleons. A couple of kids on the baseball team were saying cows, and I thought that might be a joke. I'm not sure if that's one of the possibilities. Yes, the conquered cows are an option, but others don't want to discuss the new name. They want to know why the school wants to get rid of the old one. Yeah, it was part of our history during the Revolutionary War. <clears throat> I could not win a war without rifles, and uh, I'm really glad that they went and fought for us, so we have. We're not a British colony. Concord High isn't the only school making changes. At nearby Ignacio Valley High School, you'll notice the Indian Warrior mascot is no longer on the school signs. Last month, the district board voted to switch the Warriors for the Wolves. Superintendent Dr. Adam Clark says about seven years ago, the state directed schools to replace Native American mascots. And last year, the district board voted to replace any human mascots with non human mascots. I think they would just, the students would want to move to something just just a little bit more um, peaceful and a little bit more um, reflective of them and something that they could that they could somewhat relate to. Just the one that really stood out to me was the crocodile one. It's and why? Personally, always went to the zoo, so I would always go look at the alligators and stuff, crocodiles, reptiles, stuff like that. It always caught my attention. Picking a new name will ultimately involve public hearings and a district vote. Until then, the debate continues, and the Minuteman stands at attention at Concord High. In Concord, Sharon Katsuda, NBC Bay Area News.